Hey guys, Adam here, Blackfire Productions, and we are back with another Toy Tuesday. Uh, again, we're delving into uh, a little bit of my recent fascination with collecting action figures of various kinds. And so today, uh, we are going to review some Tamashi Nations movie, movie realization uh, figures, uh, Star Wars action figures, I should say. Uh, so I have over here the uh, Yumi Ashigaru uh, Stormtrooper as well as the Yari Ashigaru uh, Stormtrooper that we're going to be showing you off. Um, I've already done one photo with these guys. I'm going to be doing more, but i got to find some fireworks. Uh, I need little um, either like crackling balls or fire cracklers uh, uh, maybe even just larger sparklers that give off a bigger effect that I'm looking for because I have a couple of sparklers at home but they're really tiny and they don't give off the the, the uh, smoke and the sparks that I want maybe if I hold two together uh, it might work but I haven't found it out uh, but yeah so Let's jump into these boxes and see what these action figures are all about. So here we are with the Ayumi Ashigaru first. Uh, it, they basically are feudal Japan stylized uh, Star Wars figures. So uh, you have, I know of, I should say, a uh, Boba Fett, a Darth Maul I've seen, which I really want to get the Darth Maul, uh, Darth Vader, uh, I believe there is a C-3PO, uh, Jango Fett, as well as various different stormtroopers. There's the shadow troopers, there's the regular stormtroopers, there's a stormtrooper that has uh, the big E-web uh, gun that's been sort of re-envisioned uh, for this style. Uh, I don't know, so like Tamashi Nations are the ones that's designed it. Uh, I don't know if it came, if this sort of like was a comic book that they based it off of over in Japan or if it was just something that they decided to do uh, for these figures. But either way, I love it. Um, I've been a big fan of history slash archaeology for a while. And one of the things that interests me is like the uh, feudal Japan era as well as like the feudal China. And so when I saw the stuff like this, I was just like, it's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, and I, and I think the interest from a lot of that uh, just stems from, like, you know, uh, some sort of dabbling in some martial arts and that uh, in in a very long uh, time ago in a distant age. Um, but, yeah, so box art looks fantastic. Uh, shows off the action figure quite fantastically. Oops. Uh, I have already used these guys, so this box isn't exactly how... Uh, it's supposed to be, but uh, you can see that everything is laid out here, or at least was until I started moving things around because, you know, um, and packaged away nicely. Um, so the uh, the Yumi is the bow, um, and so they have a ginormous bow uh, and arrows that come um, with this figure itself. Uh, so they have uh, six different hands, so three right, three left. Well, I should say eight, uh, eight different hands, uh, four and four. Um, and so, like, I've already played with this here, but, like, they're super poseable. Move around, everything else. Um, let's just pull this figure out for a second, and I'll go over the contents of the box. So let's get them set up there, like so. There we go. Is he going to stand? So he's going to stand. So... Looking at him, uh, you have a ton of different points of articulation. So his hips obviously swivel and everything else, his waist swivels. Uh, the foot and calf can turn turn uh, as well as bend at the foot. And uh, there is a bit of a sort of like side to side movement. Um, not a super ton, but uh, it, there is some there. Um, this piece... You can, you can pull it off, it does have a joint there. Um, but instead of just like a ball and socket style, you have a component inside that you can actually like move the shoulders like back and forth and then do the ball and socket. Uh, the double jointed elbow so you can really bend it up and then the wrist and everything else. Turns, folds, everything. Um, these all move as well, so like the shoulder pauldrons move um, underneath the head. Uh, I don't know what this point piece of armor is called underneath the chin, but it's like neck guard type thing. Uh, it moves. Um, you can uh, pull these all apart if you want. Um, the other one that I have, uh, so the uh, Yari Ashigaru, um, it, it actually, when I first pulled it out of the box, uh, you can see that the waist joint is down here. Sorry guys, if it's not in the center of the camera. Um, it sort of came off and so I had to like smush it back together, but yeah. Um, but yeah, the detail in these are fantastic and like, it's just, it's all hard plastic. 
with well, I can't say super hard, but like it's it's plastic with some given stuff. But like the painting is fantastic. Like you can see the brown slash sort of beige color uh, wash that was put over the uh, armor. Uh, it's not the stark white that you see a lot of stormtroopers come in. It's uh, like more of an ivory color, which is fantastic. Uh, you can see the brown wash in there. Uh, I don't, this does not come off. It's, it's built right in, uh, but you'll see when I look over the accessories here in a second, let's just get this guy back here. Stay, let's get him there. Yeah, no, he's not. There we go. Uh, you can see when we look over the accessories here in a second, uh, like I was saying, that's um, like the sword. Super awesome um, metal color on there, let's see, as well as the hilt. So, and then uh, the sheath as well. So, the sword actually does go in it. And so, like... In the one photo that I did with these guys already, uh, the one guy was like running forward and drawing the katana out. Uh, so it was super awesome. I, I love the fact that you can put stuff in here. Um, the bow itself comes with a peg. Right. Right. So, or well, I should say the sheath for the bow, uh, the quiver. Let me get my terms right, I guess. So the actual, uh, the quiver for the arrows, not the bows, but the bow sits in there uh, because it does bend and fold up. Um, and there is a hole on the back with this and that just pops right in there. Um, the arrows I love too, because again, they're super long and thin. I would imagine that they could easily be broken though with how thin they are. But uh, again, you have that nice metallic paint on there and the feathers with a nice ivory and wash on there as well. So, yeah, and they're super long. But again, that's the style of bow uh, that these guys would use uh, back in feudal Japan. And then the actual bow itself, the Yumi, um, it does, it is bendable. Like I said, so you can, you can put this right across here and just push it in. Maybe I should heat it up a little bit and get it so it's more meldable. But yeah, there we go. So you can bend it and put it on his back. So like, say you want him like running instead of, um, and with his katana, instead of um, shooting his bow, you can just have that placed in there to make it look like he's carrying the part. Um, but yeah, there's two joints here that you can bend. So the one at the bottom, as well as the one at the top. This one's a lot looser, but it still will hold its position. Um, but yeah, so that's the bow. So that is uh, that is the Yumi Ashigaru. Um, let me just put it back quickly and move it aside, and we'll take out the Yari Ashigaru, um, which it's right there. So again, the box is fantastic. You can see on the back here and everything else, all the contents and everything else, and options for it. Um, open it up so yeah this was the one that uh, when I was pulled them out of the box the torso came off the bottom so I got these uh, the first one locally so the Yumi Ashigaru um, locally at EB Games and then I fell in love with it and so uh, I guess I had it in the back um, in their back like storage room for a long while and it wasn't on on the floor so when i saw that they put it out there uh I, I i bought it instantly i was like yeah i want that it looks super super awesome um and then i started looking at other eb games to see if they would have more so that way i can do some like photos and that with them and i found one that had the uh, yari ashigaru and uh i just thought that the banner and the yari weapon that he comes with this is fantastic so uh, so you get this big giant banner it's all plastic, but very nice. Um, uh, what is that called in the Japanese world? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but it's their heraldry, basically. So that's there. Uh, you have the back banner. So it's much like the quiver uh, from the other one, if I can get this out. Uh, so this, this piece here will plug into the back of the figure and then this just slides through, and then that's his back banner. And so you just plug it in, and away it goes. And uh, yeah. 
Uh, let me see. Let's get the Yari out. I haven't actually played with this Yari yet. Um, just to the fact that in the photo I just had him drawing his katana. But uh, here's the Yari. So yeah, this is blade there. Nice handle with the hand protector and then the butt. All right. And then here you have like a hole. And you just plug the two in and away you go. And so it stands one and a half times his height, almost double his height. It's super long, uh, but super cool to see. Uh, and, like He's going to be looking awesome with it. Uh, I forgot to show you this, actually. Uh, also with the um, katanas and such, and the sheath for it, right? So you got your katana and your sheath, and when you insert it, that's cool. But the other cool thing is they actually this section here. So it's like you can actually push it in there and like that moves to reposition as needed so but yeah and then when you're done with it you just sort of push it back out and away you go so yeah these guys again super posable i love the idea behind them uh i love the options that come with them so they have like like with the the uh Yumi Ashigaru it has like a hand and a finger that like literally is like pulling the arrow back um, But like these guys have multiple different like closed fist style option hands ones for holding the, the katana or the Yari or whatever gear he wants, but like again the detail on these guys are awesome um, I love it Anyhow, that is uh, my short review of uh, the uh, Yumi Ashigaru and the Yari Ashigaru from Tamashii Nation's movie realization line for Star Wars. Uh, if you like these videos, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you want to see more and what you want to see, again, leave me a, a comment in the video below. I think I have some other uh, Mezco 112s that I'm going to be doing uh, some of these unboxing and reviews for here shortly as well. Uh, I'm going to continue to do more pictures. Um, if you haven't yet, check out the Facebook page. You'll see all the pictures that I post there as well as my Instagram. Uh, I also put some uh, in the community section on uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, there's a bunch of prints that you can reach out to me for uh, if you are interested in purchasing them. That will help our channel and stuff like that out here. Um, well, I guess that's it for today. So please remember to like, share, and subscribe as well. And until next time, ignite your hobby.